Welcome to the 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil. And one of the struggles I've kind of avoided addressing in QuickBooks Online is creating those giving statements. So a lot of times the church will put out an annual giving statement or maybe quarterly giving statement. And I knew you can track donations in QuickBooks, but how do you actually create the statements? And I'm going to go ahead and go through that. And I'm going to give you a tool that I created that will maybe make this a little bit easier for you. All right, I'm on QuickBooks Online and I went over to the sales menu. So I went to sales and then members. So, and then I'm just looking at the most recent ones. So one of the ways you can run statements is, and this is not my preferred way, is you can just click them all and say, uh, create statements. And I could create statements for all the people that had given recently here. Or I could just click on one individually. So if you have one donor that wanted a statement, you can go ahead and click on that and create statement. I'm going to click on the donor so you can see the activity because here's one of the issues I have. I do online giving. So when I record a gift, there's usually a little fee involved. So let's, let me show you that. And I show you how to set this up in another video. I'll hopefully remember to link that in the description, but you can see they gave to connectional funding. And then there is a bank fee of, in this case, 55 cents. So it looks like they gave $81 and 45 cents, but really they gave $82 but I did have to subtract out the fee in order for it to reconcile correctly. Uh, another, so you can run the statement from here as well. So let me go ahead and do the statement and let me show you what it looks like. First of all, I'm gonna change the date. I'm going to uh, go for the year to date and click apply. And now I'm gonna click print preview. I don't actually wanna send it. So now you can see that when I look at this church, this is not a great statement. First of all, it doesn't show the $82. It shows the $81.45. And then it doesn't give much of a description. It just shows receipt number 1101. It does show you the correct date and it shows you the correct amount. And that is important for tax purposes. Well, it's not even the fully the correct amount because it's subtracting off the bank fees. So there are issues with this. So the better place to get our information, and it's not going to produce statements, would be if we go to reports. But it can help us get to the place where we can do our, our giving statements. So I go to reports, and I scroll down, and it's the third section where we have sales and customers. And there's a couple of these detail reports. One is the sales by product service detail, and that's a good report. And the other one, sales by member type detail, either one's a good report. Uh, they give you about the same information. I'm going to use the product and service one. It's probably clearer. And you can see it's giving the month to date transactions. And it's just me. And you can see one a donation with the bank fee. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to filter it first. So I want to get rid of those bank fees. So I'm going to click on product and service. And because I had this set up already as a, a bank fee as a product, um, I'm going to uncheck that. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, one more thing I want to do, instead of grouping it by product, I want to group it by member. So all the donations from every member is grouped together and subtotaled. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And again, you're just going to see me, but it's without the bank fees this time. It's just that individual donation. All right. So let's go ahead and customize this just a little bit more because I don't want to show the individuals. I, I'll show the church giving, which is public information. And there, so I'm going to uncheck that. And the other thing I want to do is I want to show it for this year. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to go ahead and run that report. And now you can quickly and easily see um, that this is a much better report. I mean, it gives me the total of $492 for Arlington. So the $82 given every, every month. So without the, the bank fees and it gives me everybody's subtotal. Another thing I like to do with this one is I like to, um, let me see, I, I, I want to get rid of the groups here eventually, but first of all, I want to fix the columns because that doesn't have the columns that I like. I don't really need transaction type and number. Those are fairly meaningless to me. Um, I don't need quantity. I don't know what that means really for in the terms of donations. I don't need balance. 
Um, but I would like payment method. I would like reference number. So that'd be the check number if I have that entered in. And now I could also reorder these, by the way, because a lot of times I like uh, the amount at the very end. I just feels better for me. Now, when I run this report, I can go ahead and I can see, um, for example, that Arlington Methodist always gives ACH. I can see the check numbers for each of these other donations made by the church. It looks like I was missing a check number for one church. Um, maybe I'll fix that some other time. Okay, so we got that far, and now the next step. All right, so I'm going to do one more thing before I, what I want to do is export this to Excel. So I forgot to add the product and service. That'd be helpful just in case people give it to something different besides the general fund. And I want to move that up there. I want to move it right after the member name. I just think that's the proper place for it. So you have date, member, product and service, and you can see what they gave to. All right, I already have group by, and I put that to none. And the reason I do this, it'll make it a lot better to actually export this. So I got rid of the group by, and this all looks like a nice table that I could go ahead and dump to Excel now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the, I go to this little export thing and export to Excel. And it downloads it right to probably my download folder. And this is a little bit small. I'm going to zoom in. First thing I'm going to do, and I know I'm a little bit in the way, but I'm going to delete, highlight and delete the first top rows. And then I'm going to de delete column A. And then I'm going to delete the total. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I'm going to eventually add this into, um, into an access database. And that is going to be what produces my giving statement. So I have that done. The next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and go back to my report list because I don't have, I have the names of the, the members, but I don't have all their contact information. And really what I need is their address in case I'm going, going to mail this. So let's go ahead and go there. All right, so here I am at the member contact list report. I already filtered it, by the way, by member type, so that way you don't see individuals, you just see the churches. Um, and this does not actually look that friendly for Excel. So one of the things I want to do is I want to hit the gear and I want to uh, choose which columns I'm going to see. And I really don't need phone number, email. I don't need full name. I don't need uh, shipping address, billing address. I want street, city, state, zip. So, and, and I'm going to use the billing one. So, uh, so here it is, street, city, state, and zip and that should be it so i'm going to go ahead and click off of there and when i click off of there it should update and now it looks like again a nice table this again looks like it would fit perfectly in excel and it does so i'm going to export it to excel i'm going to open it up and i'm going to do pretty much the same thing that i did with the transactions for the donation so i'm going to zoom in i'm going to delete the first four rows so right click and delete. I'm going to delete the first column, column A, and I don't have a total role, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to hit save and I'm going to close it. And now we are going to go over to access here in just a little bit. All right, so if you've already done what I've shown you to do, where if you ran those reports exactly how I had them. So make sure the columns are in the same exact order and it's the same columns. And then you went ahead and downloaded them, deleted those first four rows, deleted column A, and then if there was a total row, then you are ready to use my access database. And it's a very simple access database. When you very first download it, and there'll be a link in the description, it will probably give you a warning. It'll say, do you trust this? And if you do, there's an enable button, click that enable button if you trust me. If you don't, um, then this is worthless to you. But this database, again, it's very simple. There's just two tables and then one report. If you look at the tables, they just look like the reports we just downloaded. So it's the date, member, product, service, memo, payment method, reference number, amount. And then the member contact list, it's, it is the member street, city, state, zip. So it's exactly what we just downloaded. 
So here's what you'd need to do is right click on donation, go to import and Excel. And you're going to have to find that file name, the, the one where you downloaded. Chances are it's in the download folder. And I should have renamed these, but I didn't. But um, I think it's the very first one. So I'm going to click on it. And I want to append it to the donations because it's my donations one. And everything should be good. So I'm going to hit finish and I'm going to hit close. And now when I look at it, you can see there's all my donation information. I don't know why there's those blank rows up at the top. They don't cause any problem, so I'm not going to cause them any problem. I'm just going to leave them there. If you wanted to, you could delete those, but you're fine. So I'm going to do the same thing with members, so I'm going to go import and from Excel, and I'm going to find my member one, and that was the top one. And append, and I have to click the drop down and choose the member contact list. Next, and finish. And I can hit close on that one. And now that's ready to go. So I'm just going to go right to the statements. So um, this doesn't look great, but if you go to print preview, you could see that I made it so that you could hopefully print this out on church letterhead. And you see the, the donor's name address right here. They're giving details right here. And then here's the little 501c3 uh, tax uh, information you need. The reason why I have it formatted this way is so that you could hopefully do a tri-fold if you have a folding machine or even if you don't and the name will appear just right in the window. And I can go ahead and look through all these and they all look look pretty good. So I'm going to hit close, close the print preview. So if you do need to adjust this, and you would need to adjust this anyway, is go to design view over in the view. And one of the things you're going to have to adjust, obviously, is the little message here, because I say, um, thank you for giving to the Upper Midwest Global Methodist Church. And I also have the uh, year in there. Everything else should be pretty good. Yeah, but you can adjust it how you wish. You do need to remember to include that IRS language, but you can re replace the Global Methodist with First Church or whatever. I'm going to hit undo. So that's one thing you can adjust. The other thing that you should probably think about adjusting is print one of these as like a sample. And if you do use that um, trifold letter with a windowed envelope, go ahead and see if it matches and see if you have to move it over a little bit. You might have to move it to the right or to the left or something like that. I'm going to hit undo because this does fit with my windowed envelopes. All right. So that is how to adjust that. Um, yeah, these are good to go now. You can actually just hit print and it would work perfectly. All right, so let's go ahead and um, I'm going to close this and I don't want to save it. I, I know I move stuff around. So now let's say you printed them and you're going to get ready for next quarter or next year. Here's what you would need to do is go ahead and open the donation once. Click that box in the very upper left and click on delete record. And yes, you want to delete it because you want to have it completely empty uh, when you go ahead and run it the second time. And I'm going to do the very same thing with the member contact list just in case. Well, I just don't need duplicates in there. So I'm just going to delete it because you append in there. Append means that you add on to the end. So I'm just going to clear it all out. And now this is ready again for the next quarter or the next year when we have giving statements. All right, this was a little longer than normal. Um, partially, I wanted to make sure I recorded it fully because this is something that a lot of us will do just once a year. And this will be a good reference for us if we have to, if you adopt this system, if I adopt this system, this is what I'm gonna use. Because I don't really like the QuickBooks statements. They just don't seem adequate for um, giving the information I wanna give in the format I wanted to give it to my donors. So. Anyway, until next time, God bless.